It's a story time now. Are you ready? That's right. Okay. We are going to open our pupil's book on page 26. We are going to look at the picture first and then you are going to describe the people in the story. And after that, you are going to listen and read the story about the old man and the small fish. Okay? All right. Look at the picture, please, and tell me, what can you see here? Okay, describe the picture. Okay, yes, there is a girl, that's right, what else? Mm -hmm. Grandfather, that's right. What other things can you see there? Mountains, that's right, what else? Mm -hmm. Trees. House, that's right. Grass, all right, very good. And what about the second picture? What can you see here? Yes, the girl, the girl is cooking. And what is she cooking? Can you see there? That's right, noodles. And also maybe she's going to prepare some tea, I guess. All right, that's it. Okay, my dear students. Now, you are going to listen to the story now and also read it, okay? Listen carefully. Pupil's Book, Unit 2, page 26. Literature, The Old Man and the Small Fish. My name is Jing Yun. I am an old man. I live in a village near the Huangshan Mountain. My granddaughter calls me the happiest man in China. Every day, my granddaughter comes to visit me before she goes to school. Her name is Wen. She is eight years old. Wen makes breakfast for me. I have the same thing every morning. Noodles and a cup of green tea. After breakfast, I tell Wen the old stories my grandpa told me when I was a boy. It was cold that morning. Wen arrived early. Yeah, yeah, she said. Do you want something different for breakfast today? Perhaps some rice or some bread? I said, no, thank you, Wen. I'm very happy with my noodles and my tea. Why do you have the same thing for breakfast every day, Ye Ye? Wen asked me. I finished my breakfast, and then I told Wen the story of the small fish which swam in the same part of the lake. There was once a small fish, and every day the small fish swam in the same part of the lake. Its friends didn't understand. They said, come with us to a new part of the lake small fish but the small fish said no thank you i'm happy here one morning the friends of the small fish didn't go to a new part of the lake why didn't you swim to a new part of the lake today said the small fish we know every part of the lake now, the friends of the small fish said happily. But this part is still the best, so we're staying here with you. The next morning, Wen made me noodles and green tea. This time, she didn't ask me if I wanted something different for my breakfast. All right. 
after listening to the story, let's see now. Ready? Okay, look at this. Now, we are going to work this burger organizer. What's this? Okay, this is, this is an visual organizer. In order to put the, the main idea and also uh, to write, to write a specific information what happened during the story. What happened first, next, then, and finally, okay? But let's start together with the main topic. What is the topic sentence in the story? Okay, look at this. The old man tells when all stories. This is the main topic because this is, because we are going to talk about that, okay? That's right. And what happened first? Look at this. When makes every morning the same breakfast for his grandpa. That's right. And what happened next? We said, do you want something mm -hmm. different for breakfast today? Again, when said, do you want something different for breakfast today? Okay, and what happened then? Grandpa told when the story of the small fish which swam in the same part of the lake. Okay, and um, what happened finally? Mm -hmm. That's right. When didn't ask him if he wanted something different for his breakfast. That's right. As you can see here, this is our visual organizer. Okay, the, um, this is the burger organizer because it has the, <laughs> it's a, like a burger, okay? So in this, um, in this um, visual organizer, you're going to write, okay, the specific information about to the story. You, you are going to sum up the story in, okay, in this uh, organizer. That's right. Okay, now let's move to another activity now. All right, now you are going to answer the following questions, right? Okay, tell me now, what's the old man's name? That's right, his name is Jin Yang. That's right. And who is the girl and what's her name? Yes. She is the granddaughter, and her name is Gwen. Very good. And how often does Gwen visit her grandpa? That's right. Every day. Very good. Does she visit in the afternoons? What do you think? No. Yes, that's right. Because she... She visits his grandpa in the mornings, right? That's great. Mm, tell me, what does Jin Jiang have for breakfast? Yes, that's right. Noodles and a cup of green tea. That's right. What does he do after breakfast? Mm -hmm. Very good. He tells when stories. That's right. Okay, let's continue now. Look at this. What did Gwen ask her grandfather one morning? What did she ask one morning? Okay, very good. Do you want something different for breakfast today? Yeah, yeah. This is something that she asked, remember? That's right. And what did he say? Mm -hmm. That's right. No, thank you. Very good. And what do you have the same thing for breakfast every day? ask uh-huh that's right because i'm very happy with my noodles and my tea okay that's the answer from uh, from grandpa to when no that's right very good and what did chin john say mm -hmm. yes he answered with a story no he told when a story the small about a small fish. Very good. And where does a small fish swim every day? That's right. In the same part of the lake. Very good. And what happened at the end? What did he tell that story? 
Uh huh. What did Grandpa tell the story? That's right. To show when that he is happy with his life. That's right. Okay, that's the reason, no? That's the reason why he tell that story. In order to show when that he is happy with his life and also he's very happy with his noodles and his green tea. That's right. Okay, my dear students, that's all for today. Okay, and tell me, tell me now, what is the what is the story? Mm -hmm. That we talk about. Mm -hmm. That's right. The old man and the small fish. That's right. Very good. Okay, my dear students, don't forget to practice this part and also to practice the visual organizer, the burger organizer. That's right. That's all for today. See you next time. Thank you very much and good job. Very good.